Hi, I'm Hannah from Osha Slings, and this video is going to give you some extra adjustments and tips that you can use with your ring sling when carrying a newborn. Ring slings are brilliant for carrying your newborn, and if you're looking to find out more of the reasons why you should use a ring sling to carry your little one, you can watch our video on that here. We also have wonderful baby wearing benefits when you're using a ring sling. So do check out our video on baby wearing benefits and you can read our linked blog posts as well. One of the added benefits of using a ring sling for your little one is that you can feed in your sling. So you can do this in two different positions. You can feed them upright in the sling, as they are just now, by lowering them down a little bit and popping them into place or you can do it in a cradle carry position that's supported by the ring sling. If you're interested in, in feeding your little one in the sling, we urge you to check out our video so that you can learn how to do this safely, and I'll link to that just now as well. If you're looking for instructional information about how to use your ring sling with a newborn, then check out our video that we'll link to just now. Once you have your baby in the sling, there's a couple of adjustments that you can make or little tips that I can show you to get the perfect fit and also to make sure that you are getting the most from your sling. So first of all, when you're using the ring sling for a newborn, you will have pulled up the fabric to the mid of the back of the head here initially. And that's so that you don't create um, a too tight a band across the back of their neck so that their, their head is able to move freely. If you felt like you wanted a little bit of extra cushioning along here, a little bit of extra support and cushioning for your newborn, you can take a muslin cloth and roll that up and you can actually tuck it underneath behind the neck of your little one to provide that little bit extra cushioning for them. You might need to pull up a little bit more fabric so that you've got enough to tuck underneath. Another brilliant thing about using a ring sling for a newborn is that if they fall asleep in the sling and you're looking to do a sleepy transfer, so you might have heard about parents talking about being successful with sleepy transfers. So if they are sleeping in the sling and perhaps you need to go into the car and use the car chair, or perhaps you're looking to lay them down in their cot. Ring slings provide a really nice and subtle way of taking them out of the sling while they're barely noticing. So first of all, what to do is just support them under their bottom, very gentle movements, just lift up the rings a little bit so that you're loosening the fabric and then what you can do instead of taking the ring sling down from the top down which you would normally do you may have seen in other instructional videos you can actually go from the bottom so what I would be saying here is very very gently undo that bottom bit of fabric you might need to loosen your rings a little bit more to give you enough fabric and enough give and then you very very gently lift that fabric up supporting them at all times with your hands and then what you do is you get very very close to where you're going to lay them so you can imagine me just hovering over the cot there laying their bottom down first and very gradually lifting supporting them with my hand as I bend and lay them down into the cot or into the car chair and taking that fabric off the top very gently laying them down onto that um, surface or into the car chair and that way you can do it all very subtly very slowly and then you can just wrap them over with a wee blanket or something um, and hope <laughs> that they've not been disturbed but that can be a really lovely way to take your baby out from the sling and put them down um, <laughs> without disturbing their sleep. Now sometimes you can find when you're using a ring sling with a newborn that it can be quite hard to get them to be sitting straight up and down in the sling. So really when you're wearing your newborn you want them to be very centred on your chest and you don't want any kind of curves or leaning from side to side. So the way that the ring sling works, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to avoid a slight tilt, but I'm going to show you a trick for avoiding that now. So 
So I'm going to unthread my ring sling and I'm going to open it all up. So we're back where we started. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the ring sling. So I'm going to take the bottom rail, this dark blue rail, and I'm going to flip that to the top. And now I can see the face of the fabric. So we've got the lighter side on that side and the darker side on this side. And you can see when I turn around, there's a flip there on the back. So normally you'd be looking to avoid that, but with this newborn tip, this is a really lovely adjustment. And then we're going to re-thread the sling. So I'm going to gather all of the fabric up as I would do normally, gather it all into my hand, take it through the rings as you would, and back through the other side. And what you'll see is the opposite side that you would normally see coming through the rings will be showing this way. So pull everything through. And then we want to just like normal, so we've got one twist at the back, but we don't want any twisting through the rings. So I'm going to just make sure that I always have that lovely dark blue rail at the top. It's much easier to see and do this if you do have a graduation in your sling, gradation in your sling, sorry. Um, and I'm going to just flare out and make sure there's no twisting at all going through the rings. And that will just mean that your rings are really easy to glide through when you're tightening the little one into the sling. And then as normal, you're going to create your pouch. So you've got the light blue at the bottom there, dark blue at the top, little twist at the back, which we'll come back to later. And then we'll loosen off enough fabric for baby to get in at the top and make sure the bottom's nice and tight. So just enough room for their legs in there. And then we'll gather everything down to the middle and I'll just make sure those rings are nice and high on my shoulder and then I'll get my newborn. So you're looking to guide them into the sling, guide their toes in first, sit them down over the rope of the fabric, all of that bunched fabric together, bring their arms up and then you can take the fabric from this side and pull that all the way up again to the nape or just the mid point on their head for the newborn and then you can gather the fabric through the rings. So you take that extra fabric to the rings, gather that all the way through and tighten up. And the reason that this then creates a, a straighter carry is because the twist at the back is kind of making a U shape with the fabric all the way around. So traditionally with the rings thing it can sometimes be a little bit lopsided but when you have the sling carried like this you can see that it's a little bit straighter. And then what you want to make sure is that you have that capped over your shoulder there a little bit, so this is a pleated ring sling, so I'm getting a little bit of capping there because I've got the rings pulled down a little bit lower, um, but you could also do this with a gathered sling, gathered shoulder sling, and then you want to just make sure that that is nice and in the middle of your back, and that there's just one layer of twisting, and I'm not feeling any different there to the comfort of the back. Some people can also find that this is a really helpful way of using the ring sling if you do find that it's digging in a little bit around the, your side or your under your armpit. This is also a really lovely solution. So it's not for everyone this um, solution, but absolutely give it a go if you're finding that your newborn is a little bit tilted in the sling. So those are a few adjustments and tips that you can use for your newborn in your sling. If you are still looking for any extra help or advice, then you can message us on Facebook or Instagram. You can email us and you can also join our Facebook community group, Clan OSHA, where we have customers and staff on hand to help you all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe this video if you find it helpful. Thank you. Bye bye.